Hey there, Blade fans. Got a special one for you today. Yeah, I say it's special. You know, certain knives, many knives are special to me. This one I had to wait a bit for. It was about a three and a half week wait. Came directly from Max Ace. And uh, yep, I had to wait for customs and this and that and the other thing. But I must say, they do a great job. <clears throat> it gets packed in this padded reflective thing that uh, you could probably use to uh, give yourself a little uh, tan under your chin <laughs> when you're lounging outside, uh, should you need it. Comes in this box. It is a box with a drawer with more Maxace logos. And here we have it. What is it? Well, you already know. It is the Max Ace Babylon A for auto. The Babylon A. Absolutely. Awesome. A for awesome. <laughs> Let's take a look around before we open it up. And uh, looks like I've got to open up my lens just a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> Make it brighter. So there's two variants. Somebody was asking me on um, a quick vid that I put up, a short that I put up on this knife, uh, if there's any other handle variants. And uh, there is the blue G10 with carbon fiber mix. And there is the green carbon fiber G10 mix. It's a nice, interesting combo weave. You can see the uh, carbon fiber glistening there. So the carbon fiber is the black. And I believe the G10 is the blue and it's uh, alternating layers or some such thing. If we look at the back, we see right away a lanyard pin hidden. Very nice. We see uh, a full enclosed back with the exception of these three ports here. It makes it look a bit like a integral knife, but it is not integral because you can see the seam right there where the two halves join closely together. <clears throat> On this side, what looks like a button is not a button, but that's a recess for the pocket, or is a pocket, part of it, for the, uh, the button, okay? And uh, we have uh, silver hardware, two screws, they look to be like uh, possibly a T8. I didn't bring the wrench with me, sorry. And we've got two buttons, one locks it, and the other is your deployment. And there you have the characteristic, at this point, Babylon blade profile. I'm going to show you the original Babylon uh, button lock that I have sitting on the side here. I never got the version 2. The difference is that the version 2 had this uh, double lock so that you don't accidentally depress the button and close it on your fingers because it does close very easily, as I'll show you in a moment. <clears throat> we have kind of what you call a reverse Tonto, except Tontos aren't rounded on the backs usually. So uh, I call it uh, drop point, clip point. Um, has kind of this um, thresher, like a Gavco thresher look on the top. And a big old thumb hole, which isn't going to do you any good in an auto, but they just kept it for stylistic similarity. It's a big knife. It's a three and three quarter to 3.8 inch blade. And it is hand filling. As you can see, it is a high grind with a bead blast. And a fairly thick stock and a nice robust point right out to the tip. It's M390. That is M like Mary 390. <clears throat> And I already described the handle to you. One of the guys out on Instagram, and I'm sorry, friend, buddy, I forget your name, but he disassembled his right away. And what he found out, if you open this up, if you dare to, and manage the spring and the different stuff, is that on one side, he's got a row of bearings. On the other side is a spring. <clears throat> the spring has three notch positions. And this comes in a relatively light 
opening. So it's fast, it's pretty snappy, but you can torque it up if you so choose and you want to get inside. So there's three positions. I'm not sure whether they put this on the lightest position or the medium position to start with. But um, if that individual from Instagram is watching this video, you can chime in and uh, give us the details on that. I find that to be very interesting. We have a titanium clip with a Max Ace branding. It's a little nicer clip than I see on some of the other Max Ace large knives. And uh, I think what we'll do is, and there's how the lock works, by the way. You cannot depress that lock. There's a little wiggle when you try to push on the button, but none whatsoever, no lock rock, no blade play. If you're not pressing on that button, pull back and the button will be pressed and you'll close the knife. I don't like to use the word depress when we speak of knives, you know, unless you got a bad deal. <laughs> we got a nine inch overall. And we've got um, a blade that is 3.8. We'll call that 3.8. As far as thicknesses go, handle thickness in inches, 0.58 seems thick, but you know it's got to house the mechanism and whatnot for the blade, and it is nicely contoured. I'm going to show you more of that later. If we go to the blade stock right there, it's 0.16, which is in millimeters, four millimeters. Tried to jump down to three on me, but we're going to call it four millimeter blade stock. Close her up, and it's going to be a light knife. You'll be surprised. Four ounces. <clears throat> four ounces, so... If we apply the ounce per inch rule, uh, it's not quite, but it's getting pretty close. You're going to see when you open the box, if you do get one, that it is a light knife. The box feels like it weighs nothing. So for a nine inch knife to weigh four ounces, that is darn good. And why is that the case? Well, that is the case because it's solid resin material. It is G10 and carbon fiber through and through. And up in here, you've got your plunge lock going on and uh, your, uh, your pivots, whatever support hardware they put in there. As I say, I haven't taken it apart. I'm not real prone to opening up auto knives. And you may say, well, come on, have a little courage. Uh, maybe eventually I will. But for now, I don't want to destroy, maybe a strong word, a brand new knife. $188 for these, by the way. $188 for either model. Plus $15 shipping, and you're over and done with. No tax, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, what do we have here but the original Max Ace Babylon? And uh, yeah, you will see similarities. You will see that they are the same size, same blade length, and pretty much the same blade grind, except we've got a flat with a little less flat grind, a uh, height of flat grind there on the original Babylon uh, than we do with the uh, auto which the grind goes all the way up there and there is no flat. There's just that swedge on the top. Same sort of uh, peaks to the blade. Actually, we've got a little extra peak right there on the auto than we do on the original Babylon, which is just uh, there, one swale, and then the clip. And the clip has got its own little swedge going on there, whereas here, it's all pretty flat. Um, blade stock appears to be pretty much the same. I'm not going to measure the old one. And the old one, for weight, just so you know, 
is instead of four ounces, five and a half ounces. So that's solid titanium on the Babylon definitely adds that ounce and a half. And as I was talking about earlier, you don't need to push this in much and it stands pretty proud. So that's why they ended up putting the safety on it. It is an extremely fidgety knife. Yeah, you can see it bounce. I mean, it bounces when you keep holding the button in, right? So if you know when to release it, and there you go, it doesn't bounce. Big old thumb studs on this guy, no flipper, just the button and the big thumb studs. And yes, it is capable of being middle finger flicked. I'd rather use the hole than the thumb stud, however. So there is a nice comparison. And uh, I thought what I would do, what am I going to do? Had it here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's hiding, it's hiding, it's hiding. You don't get a pouch with this. Um, Max Ace does do pouches for many of their knives, but not for the Babylon Auto. How about this guy? <laughs> From Benchmade. Do you recognize that knife? It is the Bedlam. And they don't make this anymore as far as I know. This is their Auto Bedlam, Auto Axis Bedlam. And that's a good inch longer, believe it or not, than the uh, Babylon Auto. How long is this Bedlam? Yeah, over nine and three quarter inches. So very close to an inch longer overall. This is a beast of a knife. And this is going to weigh a lot more even than the Babylon non-auto. Very cool knife. It's kind of in the... Uh, Kind of in the keeper section of the collection. Well, one more compare. Cryptilian. Yep. Definitely a bigger blade than the Griptilian. And why not? Rat one time. How are we doing up against the Babylon Auto? Yeah. Pretty close, maybe maybe half an inch longer on the Babylon. I'm always surprised at how big a knife the uh, Rat 1 is, or long at least. Much taller here, got a taller blade, taller handle. And again, when you pick it up, you just can't believe how light it is. Question might be, is there any flex? I cannot feel any flex in this handle. It's pretty thick carbon fiber G10, it just is very, very rigid. And you don't feel any flex in the blade. You don't feel any flex in the handle. You just get the benefits of how darn light it is. And it really, really is. Well, there you go. The Max Ace Babylon A, Babylon Auto. What a fantastic knife. And for 188 bucks, Plus a little bit shipping, yes. Um, you get a really cool knife. You just got to be patient. Three to four weeks and you'll have it. And I think they're still available out there at the Max Ace website. I'll make sure that you have the link. Be well, take care. See you real soon.